There was a lot of talk tonight about the LRT. People here want to see that happen sooner than later. Ward 11 is a big ward, so there was a lot of talk about infrastructure as well, um, drainage problems, that type of thing. Mike Nickel, he seemed to understand that we are not necessarily only looking for another voice to go to the provincial government with, because as school boards, we are very vocal with the government, but we're looking for different ideas and different ways that we can bring education or a community hub, even a school as a community hub, to the area. Just being a little bit more creative rather than just advocating for the dollars. The, the truth of the matter is, in attracting companies, it's all, not always about a low cost, low regulation type of jurisdiction. It's also about a quality of life product that has to be put out there. You want to attract the, the, the kind of businesses, the high tech or the high paying businesses outside the oil and gas industry. It's also about a quality of life issue. And to sell that fact, I know from watching Economic Development Edmonton, we do not do a very good job at promoting ourselves, taking that show on the road like the city of Calgary does and promoting those assets. We have great cultural assets in this city, for example, the arts and culture community, that we could take on the, on the road and we can promote the heck out of this city to feature what we have. And that's part of the equation, and it's also about the cost and regulation. But there is an asset that's being grossly underutilized right now. We're at $2 billion now, and by 2014, we will be at a $3 billion number. That is 75% of our total borrowing capacity. My concern for the debt is, is that we're running out of wiggle room. And we've tied our hands of the, our future councils by the size of this number that we put on the table now. So if we're really going to tackle this debt, it's, the question is are very simple. It's called, or, it's called prioritize, organize, and execute. We can't do all the things that are on the books right now. Some things are going to have to wait and then we can execute them and execute them well. Because the worst thing we can do right now is execute and rush into and take on more debt and have the cost overruns and problems associated therewith. So if there was ever a time for experience and, and proper fiscal management, it was now. And so to bail us out, we have to look at ourselves. The fact of the matter is the, the project in and of itself is $70 million short. And asking the provincial government and federal government for more money at this point in time is going to be a very difficult ask. Simply because uh, the, the floods in Calgary and the federal government has simply said no. So the money has to be found someplace else. And that has to go through the capital planning process, which is just starting next year. Both the LRT and the drainage issues for Mill Woods have to be addressed through this process. And you have to be on top of it right now or we're going to be missing it because this, pr this plan is for the next three to four years. So the question was about getting more buses. Um, that is something you can do through the budget process, that is, but you need seven votes to do that. So again, you have to go with a couple other councillors to find the money to do that. So for, in terms of LRT extension, I think the big question is, is how we're going to find the money within the corporation to get it going. Well, there's a number, there's always been a number of issues between the city and the school boards. We know that. But I think there's a couple of things that we can work on. Um, first of all, the, there's the issues with regards to the surplus school sites. Uh, that will be ongoing in terms of the affordable housing initiative. That, those conversations will continue. But one of the things I'd like to see is a serious discussion between the school board and the city and the Federation of Community Leagues to use some of the school facilities. Uh, for sports and recreation in the wintertime uh, for our kids because we all know how hard it is in the wintertime to find something to do with the kids and we have the facilities there but I know it's I know it's a problem for the school boards and I'd really like some serious discussions to try to tackle that those issues and try to open up some of those facilities. Well I think the debate went well I think the questions and answers uh, session really separated out the candidates who have experience and don't have experience and a lot of people come up with ideas they throw them out there but it's implementation and actually getting them to hit the street in a cost effective and, and efficient manner is always a struggle setting benchmarks timelines and those sorts of things that's what gets you value and very often you can shout out all the ideas you want but if you don't know about implementation and making the administration deliver them then you get nowhere uh, I'd, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out today and on October 21st vote Mike Nickel for Ward 11 experienced strong voice 
October 21st, vote Mike Nickel for Ward 11. Every nickel counts.